Are we good? Yeah, we're good. Okay, finally. Uh, so on the left we have... Uh, who is this? We have Ben on the left playing Free the Prison. And on the right oh, we crap, have... They bring, they bring what? Corey. His name's Corey. Who? The, the Freezer Prison. It says Joe. Wait, Corey. The Freezer Prison says Ben. Yeah, his name's Corey. I'm going to stop using the other one. Yeah, he wrote his son in. Okay, Corey. So apparently it's not Ben, it's Corey. I think that's how you spell it. Uh, I mean, he put Ben on the thing, so I'm just gonna put Ben, just for simplicity's sake. I refresh. And. Is that the bag that I actually came in? Yeah, you put Why are you coming fucking fast? <laughs> no swearing! Did you not see me? We've got a fun match up here today. Mill versus. <laughs> well, people ask for Mill, right? Yeah. And I was like. But the only Mill player that's anywhere near the tops is my good friend Joe. What's the score at the moment? Joe is X1. I mean, it's still good. Joe has four wins and one loss. And I, bent, I believe Bentley is the same. How many exos do we have left? Two, and they are playing each other right now. Niall Colson versus Nathan Hills are the only two exos. Ah, striking. So slow. Painful. Um, I need your number, which is a promo. Freezer seem to be X2. <laughs> yeah, because this is basically a free win for Freezer, I think. It's really hard for Freezer to lose this matchup. Because Mill literally just char puts an energy, attacks with leader, end turn. Puts an energy, attack with leader, end turn. Um, Bit more down. You should be getting, you should be, you should be getting close to it now. Because it's dash pack. Here's draft bark, team game. Should be somewhere here. Remember. Yeah, there's Reality Bender. There's Demon Sword. There is. There's the card that I want. Seth. Okay, there we go. Yes, okay. What would you like this card to be? Uh, Barbody. It's an important card in the matchup, I guess. He plays Barbody to get Koken. Yep. Which was set two? Yes. Union first. The only good card to come out of it. Who was? Green Kale. Yeah. Perfect Cell. Yeah. In this current meta. Yeah, now, but you were talking about out of the pack in general. Mm -hmm. I mean, the Green Kale was used in Shannon on Veggies. Got garbage deck. You're insane. Right, so people asked for Jenning Bar, and they we got, got it. it, and now it's in the most boring matchup of all time. I don't know, well, the, the uh, was it, uh, Live to Fight Another Dangerous got played. Yeah, it does nothing. It does nothing. Joe literally is going to charge the energy, attack with Lina, and pass. And pass. That is all he's going to do. Charge energy, attack leader. Joe's literally just going to slowly win this game. It's a cough man. It is Jennifer Mill versus Freezer Prison. Who do you, who do you think's going to win? Place your bets. There's only one winner in this matchup, and it is Mill. 
So you like, don't know that. A hundred million percent. It's Mill. You don't know that. Like Mill cannot lose this match out. Attack with leader, charge energy, attack with leader, charge energy, attack with leader. <laughs> basically, 22 turns and Mill wins. Yeah, basically. I'm going to throw the cards away anyway. It's the silhouette I like. I like to like this side. I'm going to give my one to my friend Danny. No, Danny Hedden. The only real question is, can Ben get to six energy before he gets milled out? Doesn't matter. Janimba has um, your wide open, which bounces the card back to the hand before it's played. Oh, and it also has, like, the leader and the gate. And it has the lead in the gate. Yeah, exactly. It's too... Like, Mill can't lose this matchup. Like, to, like 100% Mill cannot lose this matchup. Like, for both, for both people, it's just... Until turn four, for the Janemba player, it's just... No, he's, never, he's not going to summon anything. He's not? He's not going to summon a single Janemba. He's going to attack with leader and pass. There's no reason to him for summon something. The only one he would summon would be Demon Sword because it has deflect, so it can't be hit with um, denial of hope. Is it? Yes. It's, it's it is it's done. Yeah. Yeah. So he can't be hit by that. Yeah. Denial of hope. I thought there was another one. Had barrier. I had deflect. Yeah, reality bender. But I don't think he plays reality bender. I told him to, but he said he didn't want to play it. Yeah, this. Yeah, he does. He plays two. He did play it. Good job. Oh. Well, I told him to play, and he said he didn't want to play it. Yeah. All too easy. Mm -hmm. That card's broken, and you're wide open. Mm -hmm. Fun. He has also had that to find Yeah, and he's got Frost Deadly Poison. Very pricey card, though. What, Frost Deadly Poison? Yeah, three. Yeah, three three cards. Cards. Oh, you mean, I meant for what you meant, price. Yeah, no. not as in cost. That's still a pricey card. Foil. Comes in Star Deck. Yeah, but foil. It's like four pounds. But yeah, Frost Deadly Poison wins in this matchup as well. Because, like, what? Look, Joel has six energy now. Because he can. Wait, Joe just draws and passes all game now. If. If uh, if Joe was to Frost Deadly Poison the. Uh, yes, decklist will get uploaded onto the London Players Guild site, hopefully. And I'm going to try and do some deck profiles today from. Mm -hmm. If. If Joe activates Frost Deadly Poison when Ben summons the chain attack, mm -hmm. I believe he uses it on chain attacks yeah. auto, so it negates yeah. what comes out. Yeah. Or, or he can just negate chain attack. Yeah, okay. Whatever he prefers. Pro uh, probably be bad for it. Actually, it would, would, would be best. Most likely the. Um, no, you, just use it, no, you just use it on the chain attack or the Bubba But then, then, but then he still up. has the Bubba D in house, so you want to use it on the Bubba D. Yeah, yeah. Is that reality bender on board that, that you just tried something bender. before? Yeah. I'm sorry, but Freezer Prison just can't win this. <laughs> Real strategy is flawless. It's not going to summon any battle cards, so all of um, Freezer Prisons and the Gates are irrelevant cards. Denial Hope is a dead card because all the mills have deflect. The Freezer Prisoner cannot win this matchup. It just can't win. Is he reading? Yeah. He's reading. Uh, Death Frost Deadly Poison. I thought I was. Uh, okay. I thought I was a for a minute. I was like. Death Frost Deadly Poison. Blue? It's a blue. Uh, here's the chain attack, and you just you know, you wide opened it. Is Ben even on six energy yet? Yes. I think it might be. 
There he is. Like, your wide open is good. But, like, it's nowhere near done out of the club, dude. Like, it bounces back to the house. So, like, you just wait until next turn for your opponent to play it. Well, they're, they're a bit different. Because Denial of Hope against the Shenron deck, it just puts them into the drop, mm. so it can just be well-pieced again. But your wide open puts it in the hand. So we can't well-piece it now. So that's against Shenron. But in other matchups. Yeah, in this so, matchup. Well, Denial of Hope can't be used anyway, so it just doesn't matter. They all have deflect. But I don't understand. This, this game's over. I know it's horrible to say. But this, this there's the no worst match up. This is this. literally the. It's, it's literally. It's like some decks have bad matchups. This but they the, can win them. They, this they is the have worst matchup. They like. can like a bad matchup. You can have a chance to win your bad matchup, but this is literally suicide. Yeah, freezer prison cannot win. No matter what it does, it just can't win. Unless his side deck, he get like literally sides into aggro. But he was um. I, I, I know because like, none of this side deck helps him. Joe Joe was able to beat uh, Nile. He he killed. Nile beat Joe. No no. Joe beat today. Nile, Nile beat Joe. I thought Joe beat Nile. No. I I heard something about Joe beating Nile. Like, Impossible because Nile's up there. He killed well, uh, maybe on like while training practicing. He killed Nile, whilst he was playing Toa. Like not even milling him out. Ben's deck's looking pretty thin at the moment. Yeah, let's see. Cross Deadly Poison on the Bubbity. Oh. Oh, he hard casted the Bubbity. Yeah. Does Frost uh, Deadly Poison have any limit? Like, restrictions? No. No? No. Except the flip. Yeah. Tap free, rest the battle card, negate its skill. And if you draw have a card. three or less energy, uh, three or less life draw, on tap one. Yeah. There's so it much. Is a very strong card. There's so much that card. It's probably going to be the quickest match of the night. Destruction. Okay. Denim is still on five life. Is it? Yeah. You cannot lose. I don't see why uh, Ben would want to negate the attacks. I don't wait no the agent instructions crit isn't it? Yep. I don't know. They're, They're all crit. Except for the leader, obviously. I guess it was. <laughs> it was literally like absolute no chance of winning. I'm pretty sure Ben only has two cards left on deck. Look at Nate, look at Joe's hand size. Yeah, it's gonna be huge. He's got at least 20 cards. Oh my god. Oh, that's, that's oh, well, that was an entertaining game one. Where do you mean to go?
no water, so I had to run the tap for a little bit to get it cold. Oh. How's this matchup of, a, of the ages? Hey, hey, Prince of Saiyans, Tommy. Hello, Tommy, how you been, lad? Tommy. Tommy was head judge in Frankfurt. Oh, was he? Uh-huh. Oh. oh, that Tommy. You ready for another round of of joy? Pure excitement, mate. Exactly. This is an adrenaline rush field mashup. Continuous charging and passing. It's literally twenty two turns of a game. So are you doing the interview for top eight for or after top eight starts? I don't know. Uh, how's the event going? How how many people joined? Sixty four. Sixty four. Sixty four. And the event is going very smoothly. It is. Just obviously right now it's very hard for us to cast this game because it's <laughs> Non-existent. It is, it's not even a game to cast, really. Like, Mill just wins this matchup. I actually don't it, see... It, it's like... It's like a baby versus... an M uh, MMA, MMA fighter. Yeah, it's literally how it feels. It's not... Biggest LPG tournament we've had so far. Biggest one, yeah. Yep. At 6.20 now. Started at 11. At 11.30 we started. 11.30. So we're just like an we're hour ahead, we're, No, we're at, oh, half an hour ahead. Are we? Yeah. What one? Mill or Freezer Prison? Because mm -hmm. Freezer Prison auto loses this. You need to remember between each round is 10 minutes. And so if this is yeah. round six, six ten minutes is an hour. Yeah. We're half hour ahead of time. I don't think that TN's going to help at all because Joe does nothing but charge and pass. Like, I don't even know why he's playing the uh, screen card except like draw a card. Draw a card, yeah. Literally. Yeah. What would have been good for this deck is to maybe have some some kind of way to aggress. What? Mm. Just something, you know what I mean? Wait, can you even play chain attack in this deck? Has to be five or higher, doesn't it? Four or higher. Oh, four or higher, so you can play chain attack. Luke? Yes? Person on the left, name is Corey. Bentley it says Ben on the sheet. Bentley Corey. It did say on the sheet, it only says Bentley on the sheet. On his bit of paper, it says Bentley. How do you even spell Corey? C O C O R E Y. Oh, is Tommy still talking to us? Ow. I don't know. Just have to click on it. C O R E Y. That, which is that, actually quite depressing. How which one, Janemba or...? I think it means Freezer Prison. But it's a good deck, but like, Janemba, whilst Janemba's around, it's dead. Mm. With all these new, like, counterplays, like... It's impossible to get the 
four drop out because they're like, like you're wide just, open. Well, yeah. No, you, you'll just keep all of your energy open on turn six for pre preparing for the uh, chain attack. And that's why uh, your wide open is so good because like, it doesn't even care about the energy. It's all about the, uh, uh, the power of the card. Yes. Like, is, is there such thing as a, as a five drop that has 20 power? Probably. Yeah, exactly. Like, there's no such thing as a... a th um, I'm going to try and figure it out. It's a free drop with 20 power. I'm actually like just trying to sit here and think of ways that Freezer Prison can actually do anything in this matchup. It can't. And it can't do anything. What did it go inside? Well, it's not going to do him any harm there. It's all oh, decided. Right, like... He sided in the TN, which is fine. Wait, did he side in the TN? Yeah, he did, yeah. Right, fine, fine. Um, Zeno is useless. Hit, maybe. Oh, no, no. Uh, no, Zeno wouldn't have been useless. You saw Joe's hand size. Yeah. Wait, Mecha. He's playing Mecha Freeze of the Returning Terror? Yeah, that's the one that destroys two cards in rest mode. How does he play it? Barbody. It's not red. Does it have to be red for Bobby? Yep. Then I don't know how you Chain attack? Oh yeah, you can play it with chain attack. Um, a lot of good weight. Like, he needs a lot of pressure. Like, I'd say, if I was him, I'd get rid of half the negates from that deck. It's like a slow death, man. Torture. This has no entertainment value. At all, because of just how the matchup is. Why do you guys want to see Janemba? I didn't know it was against Freezer Prison. No, neither did I. We didn't get to see a single U6 today. That makes me very sad. We didn't see a single Zamasu. No, we didn't. Oh, I, I wanted to see Zamasu. I'm enjoying it myself, other than the, the moaning. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> Maybe we should just need the mic. Uh. But it's really difficult to think of a way. Freeze the prison. Does oh, look, oh look, he just got like, he just got wider. Yeah. yeah. Like, what can freeze the prison do here? Nothing. To... Except it's Win. death. Yeah. Freezer Army re I mean, he means Freezer's Army Reborn. Does he? Yeah. Does that have Deflect? But it's a, it's a 5 drop. Yeah, but does it have Deflect? If he couldn't, it couldn't be Deflected. Why? Well, could Deflect it. No. You're wide open. You're wide open for four less. Is it? Yes. Oh. So there you go. The Secret can help him win then. Yeah, it's a good trooper strike. Hmm. So... But then, like, Janem's got all in the gates that he could ever want. Yeah, but that won't matter, right? Because uh, Freezer's Army Reborn activates when it attacks, right? But what's the effect if your opponent... Just quad strike and then blows up Rested Moe's cards or something? I mean, like, he could hard cut. He... He, 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 he means Final Shredder Freezer, which he could play. As well as the um, Umbral Blade... The Bora, but then he needs the Bubbly on the field to be able to give it du double strike, dual attack. Oh no, the the secret red wouldn't help him at all. Well, he gets to look at he gets, just quadruple strike. He gets to look at Joe's hand, discard a card, and then choose all of Joe's battle cards with all careless power and put them in the drop. I right? mean, he's just discarding. And negate. There's not going to be nothing. I mean, yeah, unless unless his leaders are working on that. Like, discarding a negate, that's fine. Does so Joe even run uh, drop negates? Yes. All too easy. easy. Yep. Yeah. Uh, one. Cool, he's gone up to nine energy? Three. It's not going to be Six. Seven energy, sorry. Uh, that's about two cards left in deck. No, it's more. 
like three or four. <laughs> the moment I saw this, I, I if I was in Corey's position, I just like sc- like scoop the. No, moment. you don't scoop. You 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 play. You hundred percent play it out. He does run full Kaiokens, so if he is able to lock, oh no, you need, if he charged three of the Kaiokens and then had the fourth in hand, you could just hard cast the Kaioken. But then, not, like, that's a big if. Change attack. Oh, draw steady poison, you're wide open. Draw steady poison. <laughs> Wait, the auto sort of, no. No, no it no. doesn't, because draw steady poison yeah. negates it. Just cry at this point. Oh, he's awoken at this point as well. No, oh, yeah, Berry Blue, the negotiator, is also useless in, in this matchup. I don't know what that is. Um, it's a five drop. When you play it, choose one of your friends' banner cards and take control of it. Uh-huh. He's got nothing in his board. But... Go G here in this matchup. It's, it's really it's insane. Yeah, look, and because of the battle card on board, yeah. he doesn't actually have to attack leader now. So you can just attack the chain attack with the leader to move two. Joe has about 15 cards in hand. Let us sing for for Corey. Will you, I will remember you. Will you remember you? He's actually comboing to try and kill the chain attack. I see why not. Maybe he was killing the chain attack so he couldn't evolve it for two. Well, you could just evolve it for a bit. Because then you'll have more energy to play more cards. Oh, Demon Sword. It's game over. Yep. Right, guys, I'm going to try and get Joe for an interview if he'll do it. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please check out our other videos. Also, remember to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. And if you want to help the channel even more, there's our Patreon in the description. Take care guys, and thank you for watching.